Oh, uh, hey guys, it's and welcome back to another awesome toy review. If you guys want more toy reviews like this one, do me a favor, smack the like button, subscribe, the notification bell turned on so you never miss an upload. If you guys watch this video from start to finish without skipping through the video, you're part of the awesome squad. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And every time you guys turn the notification bell, turn on and subscribe, it really helps the channel out a lot. And I'm very grateful. So thank, thank you all. Um, so, today we're going to be reviewing another awesome playset from Adventure Force. I love Adventure Force like crazy. So, let's go ahead and review the brand new T-Rex. It's going to be so awesome. This one, this T-Rex kind of reminds me of, uh, let's see here, uh, the, this one right here. This T-Rex. But, obviously, this is Mattel. It's completely different, and it doesn't have any sound effect. But, it does a little thing where you can put the dinosaurs inside its mouth and take it out of pouch right here that opens up. Kind of, oh no, the dinosaur had a family, but yeah, that's pretty much what it's gonna be. It's gonna be really cool. So here we are, guys the Adventure Force Crush and Carry T Rex storage case. Now, obviously, it's a storage case, but I think of it as a real dino. I mean, you could definitely use this for a playset, you can definitely use this. Not just for storage of the smaller dinosaurs, but you can use this with any other action figures as well. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So, help the T-Rex crush its lunch. Press the button for jaw chomping action. I love the detail on this as well. Not as bad as I thought. Arms do move. Carry them with you. Five small dinosaurs included, which are all right here. You got a Brachiosaurus or a long neck, as I used to call it as a kid. You got a a Carno or a Carnosaurus. You got a Velociraptor, Stegosaurus, and a Triceratops. Love the blue. Let's turn this bad boy around. Awesome. So here we go. Crush, help crush the T-Rex's launch. Press button for the jaw chomping action. You got the five small dinosaurs included, which I just showed you guys. Carry them with you, and obviously it shows right there. Dinosaurs stored inside. Belly opens for storage. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm kind of excited. Uh, about nine dollars, almost ten bucks for this playset or storage device at Walmart. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. But before I do, these dinosaurs you actually uh, from Avenger Force. There's a dinosaur bucket that you can buy, and. Uh, I don't know how well it would go with this playset, but there's also, I check it on the top right corner, I did a review of it. God dang zip ties. So the dinosaur comes out pretty easily, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a little shorter than I thought, but pretty cool. Its legs do move. Its feet don't turn. You have to be very careful with that. It looks like they can, but they don't turn as well. Um, obviously, here's a little latch that opens up. Still a pretty cool concept. Obviously, it's missing the tail airborne. You gotta put the tail in. It's very like, feels like cheap plastic, but it's not really cheap. So what you do is you just kinda, easy assembly. Literally just shove it right in and it, and it should click. So simple, piece of cake stays right in. I don't like all the screw holes. Big pet peeve of mine. Arms do move, and the jaw does chop. So of course, when, if you're like just doing regular you know, animation or whatever, you can still, I mean, his mouth opens up, bam, and you can look down there, and his gullet there in his uh, mouth, and you can see how it's built right there, you can see little, that little part right here move, kind of, oh, you, you can see it moving, but pretty cool anyway, so you get the, uh, what, five mini dinosaurs, so we're going to go ahead and take that out of the package right now for you guys. Um, let me know in the comment section below also, ladies and gentlemen, everybody watching at home, all you amazing people. Uh, what you want me to do a review of next? Give me some comments in the comment section below on what you other toys you want to see reviewed by good old Airborne. That'd be awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and take these dinosaurs out. Alright, so we got the Velociraptor. Got the Velociraptor. You can tell by it's a Velociraptor because of the claw. Don't like the paint job so much, but I love the 
I wish I would have done like a blue. I don't know. I just love blue. The dinosaur stand test is great. So you can kind of see the size difference. Uh, you got the Brachiosaurus. Love the green on this one. Nice touch to it. That one also stands very well. You got the uh, Carno. Carnosaurus, Carnosaurus, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's not missing arms, guys. His arms are tucked in. You can kind of see the little nubs right there. Let's see how he stands. He's only got two. There we go. Okay, perfect. Next up, you got the Stegosaurus. This one kind of reminds you of a, uh animal bucket playset that I got from Toys R Us a long time ago. Just in a tinier version. Very cool. I like how they added the orange on the spikes. It's pretty awesome. And last but not at least, we have the Triceratops, probably one of my most favorite dinosaurs of this playset because of the blue. Look at the blue. It just pops. It looks so good. Very toyetic, and it's in uh, good molding. It, it, it has a very good uh, distinct look to it, so that's pretty cool. Now, of course, you guys, we got to test the T-Rex, right? So, so if he's walking and he's hungry, let's see how well this works. So you can just see he goes ahead. And he chops, and down it goes. Kind of. Oh no! Give it a little bit of a shake. We'll see if he'll. How well he his jaw chopping action is. Oh! Picked a right. Oh crap! Let's see if I can pick him up here. There we go. And ah. Uh, Come on, Brachiosaurus, there we go. Pretty awesome. So you can just kind of do that all I would do this all day. See how many you can get in the dinosaur's mouth without using your hand. Oh, no! The raptor! Let's see if I can... That's so hard, honestly, to do this one-handed. But it might look easy. Oh, I got it on the edge of the counter. This is my time to shine, guys. Oh, dang it. Let's stand it back up. and Let's try it again. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There's no way I can screw this up now. Bam! And he eats it. So that's very cool. And obviously, it, it gets stored right here. This little latch right here undoes it. And bam, all the dinosaurs come out. So it looks like, obviously, you can store a lot. And I mean a lot of dinosaurs in here. But that is the Adventure Force crush and carry t-rex i honestly you know what not gonna lie 10 bucks well spent all right guys we got the crush and carry t-rex right here so we're gonna go ahead and open up his little pouch here which has all the dinosaurs inside as you can see we're gonna go ahead and empty all those out there should be five you can hear one rattling around there we go we have two three four five Bam. Now let's see how well this works with like Leonard Corp's Kid Connection um, action figures or just chat me action figures in general. So here's one from my childhood that I have. Let's see. I mean, the size comparison, he's probably like a baby T-Rex, you know, with the, the size frame of him. So like a smaller T-Rex, obviously. But still very cool anyway. Let's see how well he picks him up. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that works pretty dang well, but the real question is, can he go down his gullet? And I don't think he'll fit. He might fit in there. Actually, that's a pretty deep hole. He might actually fit in there very easily. So if you just put him in there real quick to see if we can get him out. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake fits in there perfectly fine. And we can get him out like, like so. Very easy. So... Let's see if he'll go down in his actual mouth though and go down his throat. So let's close him up a little bit. Press the little button on his back, open his mouth up. Let's see. So he might be too big to fit down his mouth. Let's just try to have his arms up like this and try it. Uh, I don't know guys, I don't think he's gonna he won't be able to fit down, all the way down his throat, but he still can get eaten, so that's still pretty cool. It's because of that little piece back there, that little contraption. 
uh, right there that's actually making the mouth open up and close. That's what's stopping it. Let's try like a skinnier, skinnier uh, Leonard Corp action figure, just a regular action figure in general. Let's see how well this works. I don't know if this is gonna. No, it looks like he's too. Oh, he went down. So, and there he comes. He comes right out. That is awesome. So this figure worked. Maybe this guy's shoulders were too wide. His, you could tell his arm span, his shoulders are a little bit bigger than this guy's. So, very cool. Let's just try it and see if we can get him eaten again. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh! And kind of just give him a little shove. Oh, he got eaten. So not only can you crush and carry dinosaurs, but you can obviously crush and carry some action figures as well. But there's one more action figure that I want to test. One with no articulation. Uh, or a very minimal articulation, so it can only go. His arms can only go up and down, and his legs can only go up and down. Um, obviously, with these figures, their arms can bend, their arms can go all over the place, their legs can bend, um, their torso can move, his torso cannot move. So very minimal articulation. Let's try it with him. And here we go. So the biting. Let's see how well he gets eaten here. If he'll stand up, that is the question. There you go. Bam. So, pretty cool. I don't know if he's going to be able to get swallowed, though, guys, to be honest with you. Or maybe if his one arm. Uh oh. His arm is stuck in the teeth. There we go. Let's see if I can... There we go. See if I can get his one arm up. And then see if he'll go down. Uh. He wants to, but this is not happening. Too much of a cramp scenario. Oh! So it kind of just pushed him down a little, a little bit, but he did he did go down. But will he come out of the stomach very easily? Well, he's right there, so I mean. But that is the, uh, that little test with the uh, action figures with the Crush and Carry Adventure Force T-Rex. And it looks like he needs to eat because it looks like he's been starving, so he's got to eat all these dinosaurs but guys that was the t-rex crush and carry playset from adventure force if you guys want more reviews smack the like button subscribe to the notification bell turned on and you guys don't forget stay awesome see you guys later